Hello everybody, uh, it's me, Miss Jane. In my kitchen, doing a video about some meatball soup that I'm going to do. Some meatball noodle soup. So the meat I've got is venison, shredded deer, and we wanted to make some mince. But um, venison is quite lean, so it have a lot of fat in it. So we added a pig as well, so it's pork and venison mince, which makes it really flavoursome and also nice and fatty. We'll make some meatballs out of that with some panko breadcrumbs and in that mix we'll also put some oyster sauce, some fish sauce, some soy and a few herbs and spices, lots of grated ginger and some grated sort of like crushed garlic as well. We'll make those into wee balls and then I'm going to put them in the fry pan, brown them up a wee bit and then put them in the oven for a wee bit to cook right through and then I'm going to make a wee broth out of some stock and also some ginger and garlic and a few other bits and pieces from here and then I'm going to put the noodles in and also we're going to have cabbage in it and a broccoli and it'll be in the broth, noodles, a spring onion on top and maybe some sesame seeds if I have any in the cupboard. All right, so um, in here I've grated some ginger, Chinese five spices in and some ground chili. Just grating the garlic in. I think I've done about four cloves so far. Pop that in there, get all the goodness in. So that goes in there and then I think I like to put a little bit of sriracha. I always, always put sriracha in. Fish sauce. So we double wobble of that. Oh, oyster sauce. My partner always shuts things with way too much force. Yep, put some of that in there. The consistency is important. You don't want it too gooey and runny. You want it to hold its shape, but you don't want it to also too dry. It's nice to have a nice moist meatball. I know how much you guys love me saying that word. Not. Chuck uh, panko breadcrumbs in there. Then it's like you So, in you go. And just tune it up with your hands, basically. Mash with water and chopped my garlic with great knife from Victory Knives. They're all amazing. Turn that up with the hands and then I like to make it into one flat, dense pile. And then with my hand, I like to just divide it down the middle like that. And then I divide halves into quarters. And then as I go, I just take a quarter out, each quarter into four again. Roll them into a ball, nice and tight. And I'll put them in this coconut oil, from what we'll see. It's also good for after sun care on your skin and for frying meatballs. <laughs> organic too. Organic meat, organic venison, and organic pork that was free that we caught, helping with the conservation of the country. And also um, helping farmers with um, these pigs that are ruining up their paddocks. Good. What we've done, we've got these uh, venison and pork meatballs here that we're going to pop in the pan and we'll just pop that right in there. Big healthy dollop. I like to use this basically for whatever you'd use oil for. It's got a real high smoking point and it just like adds this real nutty taste to whatever you're cooking. And then these balls of meat are just going to go right in there. So what we're trying to do here is basically just brown them, add a bit of colour to the outside and then sort of pop them in the oven to bake a wee bit. So we'll whack them in there. Yummy. Ah, they fit perfectly. Okay, so while those little balls of meat are sizzling away, just going to add two cups of boiling water to the stock cubes that I put in there and then in that goes grated ginger and garlic, put that in there. And then basically just the same stuff we put into the meatballs, mirror the flavors, it sort of ties the dish together a bit. I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> to be honest, it tastes good. I reckon it tastes good. Fish sauce, doo -doo -doo. So that's gonna cook a wee way. And then I'll put the, put the noodles in there. Okay, so now these bad boys, have ground up a wee bit. I'm just going to pop them in this oven tray. Sort of keep them on, on like 120, just sort of keeping them warm, but cooking them a little bit as well on the inside. In the oven they go. Okay, so now we've got that broth boiling away. Just put some coconut oil in the pan. And there's some broccoli. I love broccoli cooked in oil in the pan rather than boil. I think it's just so much more flavorful when you fry it. And then the cabbage goes in there like a so. 
and then I like to put a little bit of soy sauce on it. Gives a little bit of a salty sort of taste. And then basically all we've got to do is put the noodles in there and we're done. Final step is to add the noodles into the broth. So we're finished, we've got the veggies, we've got the broth and the noodles and the meat balls. So pork and venison meat balls with veggies, a nice broth. Yeah, yum.